Amnesty International wants Mozambican authorities to launch a thorough and independent investigation after a video emerged showing soldiers burning corpses. A clip circulating online shows the troops, including one wearing a South African Defence Force uniform, hurling a corpse over a pile of burning rubble where another body is seen. A soldier then pours liquid over the body while people film the scene. Amnesty International says while it supports security efforts in Cabo Delgado, it's says it cannot come at the expense of human rights violations, or at the expense of people's rights at least. Regional troops were deployed to Mozambique's north in 2021 to fight an insurgency there under the auspices of the South African Development Community, the Southern African Development Community. The group has described the apparent incident, that is amnesty, which is yet to be verified as a deplorable violation of international law. Let's get you more on this now. We're able to speak to Amnesty International's East and Southern Africa Interim Regional Director, Tigere Chakuta. Mr. Chakuta, very good evening to you. Welcome to News at Prime. So, if authenticated, how common is this behavior, or how common would it be for SADC troops to behave in the way in which they're said to have been uh, depicted in this video? Uh, good evening, Tamagila, and uh, good evening to your viewers. Um, the events that we have seen uh, in the video that has been circulating are unfortunately uh, very common. Um, they fit into a pattern that we have observed as Amnesty International um, since the war in Cabo Delgado broke out in October uh, 2017. Talk to us about the previous incidents. What had happened there? So uh, since um, uh, the war broke out, um, Amnesty International has documented a series uh, of similar um, um, atrocities uh, being committed by uh, the security forces of Mozambique as well as uh, uh, the group that calls itself um, Al-Shabaab. Um, the atrocities range from attempted beheadings, um, extrajudicial killings from both sides, as well as uh, we have also documented the movement of uh, uh, dead bodies to what would be described as mass graves um, in, in, in Mozambique. Um, and these atrocities have been committed both uh, between the armed parties in the conflict, but also, and um, uh, very um, unfortunately so, against civilians uh, in the northern province of Cabo Delgado. And in those previous cases, have there been consequences to a degree that would inspire you that this time around with this incident that's basically uh, taken over and got mainstream media attention, that there will indeed be consequences if indeed the people in the video are SADC troops? Um, to all the previous incidences, we have not seen any action whatsoever from the authorities. We have called for each uh, event that we have verified uh, for the Mozambican authorities uh, to deal with this in a swift manner, to investigate them thoroughly, and to bring those that are responsible to justice and fair trials. In all cases in the past, we have not seen any action being taken. And therefore, we are calling again to this time the SADC forces the, uh, that are in Mozambique, as well as the Mozambican government, uh, which is receiving um, uh, the support from SADC, to take swift action um, against all uh, people that are uh, forces that are seen as responsible and that are proven to be responsible uh, for, for, for the actions that we have recently witnessed and seen being shared on social media. I wonder if you've seen the statement issued by SADC today where it basically says that its force, the SAMIM force, has basically been, uh, it says, always uh, conclu conducted itself in a professional, efficient, and reliable manner. How does that stand up against what you're telling us tonight? We, we've seen the, 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 the statement. Um, insofar as uh, relates to the SADC uh, mission forces, this is the first uh, incident that we have um, that we have, very, that we have uh, recorded and seen. Um, however, as I have said, um, this behavior is very consistent with what we have seen from uniformed forces, particularly the Mozambican forces. Uh, so we are not surprised. Um, this is um, a pattern of um, events and atrocities that we have seen year in, year out for the last five years. And unfortunately so, this has happened away from um, the, the glare of international media. This is indeed a forgotten war uh, in so far as we are concerned right now. Would it make any difference if the people whose bodies are shown in this video were insurgents? Because some have wanted to make that distinction. Absolutely not. Um, 
the the impact of the war in Cabo Delgado has been um, uh, has has been quite widespread. I mean, the the, the livelihoods of the people of northern Mozambique um, have been disrupted severely by this. But any actions by insurgents can never um, uh, give credence to uh, such behavior by uniformed forces. Uniformed forces are guided by international law in how they must conduct themselves. Amnesty International's East and Southern Africa Interim Regional Director, Tigere Chakuta. Good to have your time, sir. Thank you.